time? All right, we okay. gotta we gotta introduce it. Okay, so, so what's go, it go for it. It is uh, Grand Reserve Bacardi's. B- yeah, uh, Grand. Yeah, Bacardi. <laughs> wow, can we? Wow, can we butcher this anymore? We have Bacardi. Gran Reserva Diaz, aged 10 years right here. Take a look, little bottle. Let's try to keep the glare off. I'm trying to do my best for you guys here so you can take a look at Let's it. Let's try and do better. Another one at Bacardi. I'm always trying, trying to do better. Try and do better. Look, I'll get Roger in it too. There it is. Bam. I got a quick question for you. Yep. Do you, do you know what Diaz stands for? 10. Hey, wow, he's right on top of things. Bam, I took Nailed Spanish it. one. I know what I'm about. <laughs> the Masters Blend Reserve Barrel. No H. idea what that means. Master Blender's Reserve Barrel. Yeah. So I have zero it's clue what this means barrel. so far. Well, it's it's obvious. It says right there. A Master it's, Blender's Reserve Barrel. So it's a very special barrel just for His Masters. On it. Oh, right. Yeah. He signed it. It's a special barrel. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Aged for a minimum of 10 years and best served neat or on the rocks. Cardi Grand Reserve Diaz has a dark golden hue. That's a funny word. Hue. Hue. Color. Hue. Color. Hue. It's Huey. It's Huey. Bright notes of banana. Ooh, I hope so. Pear and tropical melon balanced with caramelized vanilla and your favorite, oak. Oak, oak right? is the worst flavor description <laughs> of all time. I'm going to preach this to all of you. Every week, oak comes up. Because I'm going to tell I you like what. It. No. Now, I oak like is an awful awful name for any type of flavor no tree don't. is a flavor you want to taste don't notes of it. wood are not okay it's a smell not a flavor it is a flavor i'm gonna i'm gonna engrave if this any, in. if anybody out there has been doing some woodwork and you 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 do some woodwork and you with eat oak. your shavings <laughs> it's just ridiculous there's okay. a, i feel like there's a lot of flavors in this okay because you've got banana pear tropical melon with caramelized vanilla and oak. I uh, bet you forgot it's balanced. It's balanced. Oh, so, so maybe we'll see. it's not as busy as what they're appearing to be. We'll see. That's a lot of flavor. Let's. Okay, all right. So what's the percentage on this? Forty percent. Yeah, forty percent. So forty percent, eighty proof again. So yeah. that's a pretty that's a pretty good standard. I like forty yeah. yeah, percent. So we'll give this we'll give this a try. I'm gonna give it a smell. I'm gonna see. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. This smells exactly like every other Bacardi rum I like ever smell. Really? <laughs> Last time we checked out the eight year age Bacardi, it smells the exact same. It does. It's, it's it does. pretty and, much the and, exact and they, same. And they said, you know, that it was also good neat. And so they were wrong. They absolutely wrong. I wouldn't not drink it neat. So, so let's here, check it so out. So here we go. I would never drink I'm, I'm that not, neat. I'm not drinking that neat. I would rather drink the eight year no. one way more than this yeah. one. No, a- absolutely not. That this. is not something you're, 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 you're not going to want to drink this neat. No. You're not such a cool bottle. It looks like they spent a lot of time, you know, and and energy in, in producing this product. Right. You're somebody that likes a sharp, hard drink. You know, this is probably for you. Um, I would, to me, this is a mixer. Yeah. You know, the, a mixer all the I way out. It is so harsh that I, I don't I don't catch the flavor. We drink a lot of rum. We do. We drink a lot of different. Rum. It's just. A I mean, little... that sounds really bad. Now wait a minute. Not not at once. Sitting. Roger, I'm not... sorry. Roger drinks a lot of rum. <laughs> okay. I supervise. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm here. Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. Wow. Yeah. See that. that it's see... like two completely different drinks. I think the Coke definitely brings out more banana in yeah. the flavor. You, you taste it, right? For sure. I mean, it, it's like bam right there. And then I think when you get into Pepsi, I think you get more of that vanilla. Yep. Vanilla. I don't. I don't know what else is with it. I get a vanilla. I don't know if that would be the tropical melon or maybe the it's pear. a little bit of pear. Maybe you know. Yeah, pear. it's got a sweeter flavor in yeah. with it too. So one of the tropical melons. Though you know the one thing that's missing though, I don't taste the oak. Do you taste the oak? I'm sorry, I don't know what oak tastes like because <laughs> I don't lick trees. The oak's always missing because nobody even knows what that tastes like. So this one has a corked bottle as well. So I love that. I know Me we too. talked a little bit about it. The cork just keeps the flavor a little bit better. So I like a cork instead of a random yep. uh, twist lid. I think that the cork is a nice touch. I like the bottling. I think it's a nice oh. design. It looks, it looks you, good. You know what it is with the twist lid. It always makes you. It always makes me feel like it should be like in a brown paper bag. Yeah, like I mean, you're sitting out by the curb, 
you know, drinking out of your brown paper bag. Well, thing, you know, the thing with the metal lid, out. it doesn't keep the flavor as well. It, you know, you can tell that it's just a regular bottle, which is fine. I don't have a problem with a twist lid. Like, I no. drink lots of them. I, I, with a twist I prefer lid. this type of bottling. I just like it when it has a cork because I just think they want the extra mile. If you like mixed drinks, I think it's a great mix, mixed drink. Should we read the bottle? Aged we'll for 10 years under the Caribbean sun. Ooh. Again. That same guy. That same guy with the wheelbarrow <laughs> is just putting it under the Hauling, sun. Pulling those barrels out good to the beach. Good for him, man. Good for yeah, him. Well, That's he, a good gig. Yeah, it is a good gig. Filtered only before aging. Oh, all right. So it's filtered out. So I'm surprised with that. It's not a little smoother, yeah. but whatever. Uh, okay, so this says bright notes of stone fruits. Stone fruits? I don't even know what stone fruits okay, are. Okay, so if anybody out there knows what stone fruits are. You can just let me know, because I don't even let want to look know. it up. What's a stone fruit? I, Banana and pear. Okay, got that. Uh, balanced with caramelized vanilla and oak, which is a stupid flavor. I just wrote... <laughs> Let's put a rating on this. What did we call the rating chart? We, we called the uh, Roger, or Roger and Robert's Rum Review rating. Are you sure about that? Is that doesn't it, sound right. Was it Robert and Roger? Some review scale, <laughs> scale of one to ten. What are you giving it? Well, what I'm thinking is we should give it a scale for the neat oh, side okay. of things. We'll change it up. Okay, that sounds good. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. All right. Is everybody out there with me? I hope so. Here we so. go. So here's here's my scale for neat on its own. From from one to ten. From one to ten, give it a four. It's not terrible, oh. terrible. It's not anything that like I would throw up. It's not anything I would order, and I don't think it even makes number five just because I think it's on the bottom side because I just don't even think it's that good on its own. Yeah. Okay. So you gave it a number four. Yep. And you know what? I'm going to give it a number three. I'm just a smoother. I like smooth rum. I like a cl smooth, clean drink. That's just me. Yeah. I feel like most casual drinkers are with me. It's a mixer. Mixed with the tropically notes of melon and some vanilla. I'll say in the Diet Pepsi and the Coke both. I would give it a 7 out of 10. I actually enjoy this mixed drink better than I would uh, the 8 year aged. I think that 10 years mixed with Coke or Pepsi, both the different flavors, I think make a 7 out of 10. This is a great drink that I would share with friends. I'm probably going to be a little stricter. That's fine. Okay. So what I'm going to say You're is, older, so you should probably be more well, stricter. I'm more, I'm more educated that way. So. <laughs> More like he just drinks a lot more rum. <laughs> well, education, drinking more rum. So, um, I'm going to say six. Six? Yeah, six. Fair. You know. So Bacardi puts out a great product. I just don't do. think this one uh, th this, the, Do we know the average price point of what these things, what this the, would the, typically I run for? I believe the average price point is about $32 a bottle. 32 bot. So around 30 bucks, 30, yep. 35 bucks, probably somewhere in there. For 30, 35 bucks, nah. You know, the Spanish speaking part of it, because it's Puerto Rican, it, it makes me feel really, really tropical-y when I have to say Oh, yeah, name. yeah. I well, like that. No, no, you know what makes you feel tropical? This palm tree. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you dragged this palm tree. In I here. did. I dragged, I dragged this Just thing Just so in. it could be in the video. <laughs> You're welcome. I watched him haul it. <laughs> All the way inside, just so we could have it in the video. So I hope everybody out there appreciates my hard work in trying to dress we things do. up a little we bit. We really do appreciate you, Roger. You're amazing. I'm going to give you another look at the bottle, just so you can take another look. Check your local liquor stores if you're willing to give it a try. I think it definitely has some perks to it. Um, so you should definitely check it out if it's something that you'd be interested in. Especially if you like a spicier rum. I think that it, I think it hits the spicier rum for sure. So there it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'm Robert. I'm Roger. And this has been Just Drinking. You need to remember to drink responsibly. Always. Never drink and drive. Don't do it. And no rums were harmed in the making of this video right Absolutely here. Absolutely zero. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.